Okay, thank you very much. Hello, everybody. We are the uh, Trexit team, which is, um, yeah, quite obviously, a um, combination of uh, uh, Trex that stands for Tracking Exposed, which has to do with the tool we used, and uh, Brexit. We decided to focus on the issue of Brexit because uh, nobody talks about it and we wanted to be quite <laughs> innovative about it. And um, so what we wanted to look at is uh, to which extent uh, can we use this tool in order to detect um, polarization happening on YouTube, where with polarization we mean uh, the tendency of um, channels to be recommended common videos based on their um, similar position over a certain issue, in this case, Brexit. And uh, yeah, how to, go for, uh, how to go in order to study these kind of things, uh, what a lot of people, including myself, have been doing in the past was relying on YouTube API, uh, does a static set of related videos uh, curated by YouTube itself that somehow has to do with how actual recommendations are um, created. While with YouTube Tracking Exposed, it's possible to get the actual list of uh, recommended videos. Every time a video is played, the tool records this list and uh, aggregates um, different set of recommendations. So we actually uh, believe that that's uh, slightly better to do if you want to study issues that have to do with personalization, like polarization do. And... Um, so, in terms of uh, um, methodology and protocol that we followed, we divided ourselves into groups. Uh, each group of people uh, was being loyal to a certain channel um, of uh, news outlets uh, from the UK, The Guardian, The Sun, The Mirror, and The Telegraph. And these news channels have given different space, let's say, to uh, either remain or leave positions. So with the Guardian and the Mirror uh, leaning towards the uh, Remain side and the Sun and the Telegraph leaning towards the um, Leave side. We then, so we have a situation with, uh, in which we set up clean browsers and after that we started to watch five videos for each of this channel uh, and at each of the five steps we recorded the set of recommendations that we would get. Uh, next to that we also collected for each of the five steps, the set of uh, API-related videos suggested by uh, YouTube itself. And um, we also uh, collected the data related to the videos uh, recommended while watching a final common target video, but we didn't have time to work on that, right? Um, yeah, so in terms of kind of analysis that we did, we ended up with a data set of 2,000 non-unique videos, because some have, of course, uh, been recommended more than once. And starting from these recommended videos, uh, we conducted analysis both at the level of the videos themselves or at the level of the channels to which the videos belong. Uh, we did a lot of stuff with networks, uh, some also statistical tests to uh, test some hypotheses. We compared um, what we got with the results from the APIs and some qualitative analysis related to uh, the distribution of words, as well as categorizing the channels that have been recommended uh, along the Brexit uh, issue. So, um, this is one of the um, visualizations we got, and you can see Telegraph and Sun are the personalized uh, users that have seen five videos of the same channels, right? And the notes over there are the recommended channels that we got uh, with, with the tool. So uh, you see the, the, the color or, uh, of the channels uh, refers to the posi their position on the Brexit. Um, we, we also have, uh, so this, this was the, the, the graph with all the recommended that we got uh, f uh, watching five videos. Right? Uh, but those are steps that we actually have done uh, that we can visualize. No. Yeah. So this is step one, step two, step three, step four, and step five. So these are the different uh, um, 
personalized step. The first one, uh, we start with the same settings, so same browser and with no personalization, and then we um, step by step personalized our accounts. Uh, the interesting results is that um, we, we, see, we see that um, this is the first step and this is the last step of the personalization. Uh, we, see, we see that um, the, the uh, um, leave group is uh, much more consistent across, across both uh, steps, but uh, we, we also see that um, actually they, they are getting closer and we tested it also with a statistical analysis that Maria will show you in a minute. Uh, this is the same graph, but made with singular video and not with channels. So these are the related videos that we got. And this comparison uh, also show the, uh, the, the, the video that are um, also retrieved by API and the, the one that are not. So we can see that uh, at least half of the uh, video that we got with the personalization of our users uh, are also in the API and other half is not. And we have the same visualization of before, but with titles of the video, not with channels. So you see the, the first, first step, second step. <laughs> we record also ourselves discussing. <laughs> that was, <laughs> but, but you, you, you get the idea, I mean, I think the, the interesting part uh, is to be able to um, create a different level of personalization and um, visualize them. So this is the, the last graph and we have the, the, um, the first step of personalization with titles and the last step of personalization with titles. So basically we also asked ourselves whether we had statistical evidence to support our results or not. Which basically means, I mean we were just for a few days, we were just 10 people, did we collect enough data to say that these results always hold? And the answer to this question is basically yes. So we did a statistical test, which I'm going to explain really quickly, so sorry if there is any statisticians, but uh, okay. So, um, uh, basically, for every channel, we, col we collected the number of videos that was suggested that, that was also suggested to, uh, to a user which was belonging to another cluster. Okay, so if I was um, trained watching The Guardian, for example, uh, we collected the number of videos that were suggested to me that were also suggested to people which watched other channels. And in the end, uh, we got basically um, a value which was representing how the two clusters, so the blue users and the yellow users, were similar. And after watching just one video, we got, um, a, let's say, similarity measure equal to 30%, while after watching five videos, we got um, a similarity measure much lower, which is, was uh, 17%. And the difference within these two values showed to be uh, significant with, um, with the test, which is called the t-test. And uh, yep, this, is, this was basically the result. You again? Sorry. Yes, so for those who didn't understand statistics, we also looked more into like a, a qualitative analysis to try and kind of categorize the channels. And I can say that we had some very heated debates about like how to categorize this, so I think that already says a lot about kind of the politics of this kind of research. Um, but we did find, uh, contrary to kind of what has been suggested, is that YouTube still recommended more mainstream media uh, channels than it did alternative media. We also found some government-related channels and um, what can be kind of considered like a, f a failure of like the, the recommendation was that we also got like some completely irrelevant junk uh, channels recommended. Um, and from the mainstream media actually like the, the channels that were recommended the most, they were all kind of pro-Brexit. Um, and then finally what we did is to kind of see what the practical implications of these kind of filter bubbles might be. So how does this kind of frame the debate? We gathered all the titles and kind of looked at like what were the most frequently uh, appearing titles within the recommended videos for each uh, channel that we watched. 
And what you can then see is, for example, that when you're kind of a guardian uh, watcher, you will get more videos recommended by explaining, uh, talking about the referendum, showing more like documentaries. Then when you're like following the sun, you get like Nigel Farage, who is orating in the, in the, uh, in the parliament. And you get like more uh, Meghan and, and Harry uh, videos recommended. And of course, with the mirror, you get more like dairy and farm and, and Jeremy Corbyn. And interestingly, like the telegraph is more central because it kind of touches upon like more, more of the issues that all the kind of uh, channels touch upon. Uh, so, conclusions. Um, we get some statistical evidence of uh, polarization around a topic that of course is polarized, but we get this result uh, passing through the algorithm uh, of YouTube and that's, I think, interesting. Um, we uh, saw some um, first um, visualization of filter bubble. You, you need to think that to collect data with tracking exposed, you need to watch all the video that uh, you want to analyze. That means to, to be personalized by the algorithm. That means that we cannot watch 100 videos because we don't have 100 days. But um, I mean, uh, it's, it's visible also with a few steps of personalization. And last things is that uh, the nature of the channel, so mainstream or influencer and so on, um, is also a variable that uh, is, is visible in the recommendation. So if you watch a mainstream media, you will get more mainstream um, uh, channels related. And uh, we, we have done this also in another database that we are not going to show you, but we have the same results. And so, uh, I mean, imagine with watching all the video of, of all the channels, you will get the full network of the, of the UK recommendation and maybe next time, yeah. Okay.